the crack lads we're back with some gameplay we are doing the round two of the first qualifiers challenge event the user matches this is the squad that we are facing against in this one lads this was going to be a tough game i mean that's one of the best teams i've come up against 4-2-1-3 he was using obviously he was switching kaka and beckham and he was using beckham as an amf or a cmf i wouldn't have probably done that i would have put Vieira as a dmf and then i would have probably played a 3-5-2 and get cafu and carlos on, on the wide or else beckham on the wide and and you know go that way but again that's just me obviously this guy was just trying to play through the middle very very central you'll see the goal that he scores and yeah it's just if you don't laugh you have to you, you're gonna cry man seriously at this stage and I had an absolute torturous time with this challenge, lads. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a torturous time with it. I don't know, was it connection? I don't know, was it me? I don't know, was it just servers? Whatever time I went on to play it. I actually had this match completed. It was 2-1 and the match null and void. Um, and it didn't count. So I had to replay another match. The match that I, that I was winning 2-1, it was like the 70th minute um it quit i thought he had just quit it or whatever and i never got the result i never got anything it was as if i'd never played it it was like a phantom a phantom match um i then proceeded to play a second match and i lost i think i was losing 4-1 or 5-1 i was getting absolutely pummeled to be honest the connection was horrible um was super unresponsive for me and it actually disconnected but i know that the opponent got the win because it did count as a 3-0 loss for me which i think is a joke it should have been you know whatever match uh, result was at the end of the game whether i had quit whether it disconnected whether there was a server whether there's a power outage whether it was internet outage whatever you want to call it he should have got you know the result based on whatever he was beating me at that time not res re you know uh re reset it to three nil or whatever because he could have been be beating me 10 nil and obviously this challenge event is based on goal difference which we'll get into in a separate video um and instead of him getting the 10 goals, he would have only got three. So that's something that they also need to look at because people will just quit out if they're getting hammered, obviously. But yeah, so it was a difficult one for me, man. This game was probably the best of the three that I had played connection wise. And even at that, you'll see a couple of the goals and stuff. It's just super unresponsive, which for me is kind of a killer because I like to play very possession based. You'll see the stats at the end of the game. I like to always keep 65% possession if I can with, you know, very high pass accuracy. And I really like to kind of make my passes stick so that I get a really good opening. But in saying that, we do get the winner in this match, which is an absolute joke. And I mean a joke of a winner in this game. After he's after scoring an equally uh, joke of an equalizer. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just a crazy game. And you'll just see the goals are super sloppy, super messy. I want to let like let me know your thoughts with this event lads because the gameplay to me in this was super super chaotic super messy all about kind of you know counter attacks blocking the passing lanes getting intercepted passes look at this just teleportation absolutely ridiculous i caught a cover across um with maldini that could be a penalty in another day because of the collision system and the animations but there was a lot of stuff going on like this you know you'll see um a couple of clips like this now in the 40th minute you can see my pass completion is at 90 percent. so i was actually really dominating the passing really dominating possession i was able to play but i just wasn't able to score so it was always going to result in getting a really weak or a cheap goal he tries to go on a counter takes a heavy touch Vieira gets the ball back in little slap back out to Messi he tries to rush me out with Carlos probably a bit of lack of in, uh, reaction falls to Matoma he can't clear it with Campbell he clears it rashly comes up to Timber Timber doesn't win it Makaleli recycles 45 minutes on the clock we spray it forward no hope of a pass going through Pedri Matoma swing it across into Romario misses and then Vieira gets a lucky 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 finish and I mean that's just a joke goal to concede and a joke goal for me to to score there's no enjoyment out of that but don't worry lads he gets one back equally as ridiculous right I've kind of covered the tracks as best as I possibly can here the player switching is all over the place try to clear it he gets the ball back in here I try to intercept it intercept it and he still gets the ball in the back of the net but look it's one all 54 minutes on the clock not to worry not to panic um we were going to keep plugging away but yeah let me know your thoughts lads because I, I just feel at the moment man i've touched on this in previous videos and i will be doing a video on it again in the future because i have a lot to talk about i just feel man they're like look at this sort of stuff going on in the back in the box i just feel the game has gone super chaotic man right 
I'll still say that when the game flows and when you can pass the ball around and do what you want to do, as you see here, you know, taking on the opponent, absolutely rinsing him, you know, cutting in, picking the pass, recycling it, waiting for the AI to make the space. You're kind of playing with the AI, you know, you're depending on them to make some moves for you. Um, and when it plays, it's actually really fun. You know, it's really fun. It's not super rewarding, I don't think, compared to like V1.0, where you could be rewarded for playing possession-based playstyle or rewarded for having high uh, football IQ, so to speak, um, with different patterns of attack and breakdowns of attack to kind of try and, you know, get the best of the AI. Whereas now, it's all about very simplified, you know, simplifying everything. Don't take time on the ball. Don't take extra touches. Just get the ball into positions that you can just kind of, um, you know, get a shot out over on the goal or cutbacks or whatever. And that's what this guy was trying. And he nearly he nearly got it as well. It was just that I happened to get a bit of luck um, towards the end of this video. But you can see here, like, I'm actually enjoying playing that. Teleportation through Roberto Carlos again. Bad pass falls to Pedri. Touch and go, try to flick it up. Um, when it plays like that and you're able to do things, obviously you can accept some of the stupid stuff that happens. But yeah, I just feel like with this challenge event, man, I just feel like it's it's super chaotic. Um, I always I always try and keep glass half full, but this is tough. I probably was in there with Romario, but we recycle it back to Neymar. But what about this for a finish? <laughs> Oh man, absolutely disgusting. I didn't celebrate it. He went straight into the animation, but I didn't. And then he just goes all out attack for this one um, just to try and get the equalizer. But yeah, I mean, look, it is what it is, man, with a lot of stuff. I'm just glad to get this event done. Um, he What a save from Donna. Unbelievable save from Donna, lads. He always does it for me when he needs him. When I need him, he's there. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just one of these things, man, that I just feel like the next update, the next big update can't come soon enough. You know, we need a reset on something. We need there to be a grind to get in an absolute beastly squad, right? Look, are we ever going to go back to the days of MLO where you have, you know, a lot of people, uh, another brilliant save from Donna, where you have a lot of people just enjoying the slow grind of building a squad? You're not because you have microtransactions and, you know, if somebody wants to go out and spend 500 quid uh, over the course of a month on packs and buy every single good player in the game, you know, there's no way that Konami can stop people from doing that. Obviously, that's, you know, um, brilliant for them from a business point of view. But from a kind of a day-to-day -day playing the game against these type of guys, um, there needs to be a balance and there needs to be a reward there, I think, so that you can continue to play. And I think when you put... A kind of a win at all cost challenge event like this people are just going to want to win at all costs so it's not a bad thing obviously whenever i play i don't want to lose games i want to win and i want to give my, myself the best chance of winning a game and give an opponent a good game of it but at the same time you know at the end of the day you know these a thousand e football points i'm going to get a reward as a reward here like they're not going to do anything for me you know so then it becomes a thing of um you'll see the stats there like it was a complete domination but I just couldn't get that second goal until I got the the, the, the winner um, when I did get it. So let me know your thoughts, lads. Let me know. Look, obviously, there's a bigger discussion to be had about it. I think with eFootball 2024, there needs to be some sort of, I don't know, maybe like specific divisions or specific kind of like, like week-long or month-long cups or leagues that you can enter that have like team restrictions or pass restrictions or, you know, level restrictions or... You know, there needs to be stuff like that, like squad builder challenges where you have to use it. I think that they've kind of dabbled in it, but I think there needs to be more a long term kind of like uh, investment into, um, you know, your bread and butter players. You know, the guys that are playing it week in, week out, um, because at the moment, you know, newcomers to the game series are really enjoying the game series. So let me know what you guys think. I did get through that one, obviously, with the first round uh, and of obviously now at round two. So hope you enjoyed the video, lads, and I will talk to you later. Later. We'll be back on Monday with some reviews and some other videos. Peace.